Hey everyone, welcome back to Sweet Beat TV. I'm your host, Sienna Leone, and it is always a pleasure for me to say I have Joey King joining me. Hi Joey, how are you? I'm good, Sienna, how are you? I'm good, it's so good to see you. Now, Joey, how amazing. I wanna dive in here, cause you have such a great partnership in the most perfect season of giving back. So let's talk all about your new partnership with Coca-Cola and the Children's Healthcare of a Atlanta at Eagleston Hospital. Yeah, I'm very, very lucky. Coca-Cola reached out to me to be part of their new Real Magic campaign. Um, basically what that means is just the simplicity of spreading love and kindness and it can just produce real magic in the simplest of ways. Um, and so they reached out to me and they know what love I have for visiting children's hospitals and being able to connect with those kids. So they offered me the opportunity to be able to go to the hospital and deliver some presents and to be able to do a virtual meet and greet with some of the wonderful, wonderful kids there. And I feel really lucky to be doing this in general, but especially during the holidays. Absolutely. I mean, that's pretty special. Now, do you have a special moment or something that stuck with you while you were, you know, visiting and surprising these children along with giving them some gifts from Coca-Cola? Um, I mean, every moment was so special, but I had such wonderful conversations with a lot of the kids. There was, there was a girl named Amy that I spoke with who was so wonderful. She was 18 years old and she told us the sweetest story about meeting her boyfriend and how she knew she liked him for the first time. And it was the simplest, it reminded me of this campaign, how real magic is present in such simple little moments. And it was the sweetest story. They were at the movies together and they were still just friends and they were both laughing and she saw his smile and his laugh and thought, my gosh, how beautiful is his smile. And it was, it was so sweet. Wow, I'm like, I'm still looking for that love. <laughs> <laughs> No, Joey, like you said, giving back is so important to you. And you did write that on your Instagram. I did see that as well. So aside from this campaign and partnering up with these two incredible organizations, has giving back and has, you know, volunteer work been a big part of your life? It has been. My family always taught me to give back from a young age. And I'm really lucky that they did because just working with different organizations and being able to partner up with people like the to do stuff like this is something that I've been able to do since I was young. Um, and I, you know, visiting children's hospitals is something that I've done a bunch when I was a, a, a younger person. And I've always loved that. It's always been so near and dear to my heart and it'll always be so important to me. Now I did see you wrote on your Instagram that Atlanta also is dear to your heart. So why is Atlanta dear to your heart? Are you filming right now? I am filming right now. I'm filming uh, my film for Netflix called The Uglies here right now. Um, but I also spend a lot of time in Atlanta. I am here most of the time if I'm not at my own home in Los Angeles. And I have fallen in love with this city and it has become my second home. So if I'm going to be spending near the holidays anywhere, I would love, I'm just happy it's here. Incredible. Now, what is one thing that you've learned through this partner partnership with Coca-Cola and Children's Miracle Network that you're gonna take and apply elsewhere? I think the simplicity of the message of how it really is the, the smallest of moments, the, the tiniest acts of kindness and care that do bring so much joy to you and to others. And I think that's a great reminder for everyone, not just now during the holidays, but for all year round, especially during the pandemic, it's been really hard for everyone. And so just keeping others in mind with simple acts of love, it's always a great reminder. And I know for sure I would love to apply that more in my life every day. Absolutely. I think we all need to apply a little bit more love and happiness in our lives, for sure. I agree. <laughs> now, Joey, last time we spoke, we spoke on the last Kissing Booth movie. So I'm still getting over how they're done. I'm not over. <laughs> I'm still <laughs> sad. But looking back at, you know, this iconic movie series, Joey, is there anything you would change in playing Elle throughout this series? No, I think that's a great question though, but I feel like playing Elle has been one of the most joyful experiences I've ever had. And it's brought me so much happiness and so many new people in my life. I've met so many wonderful people who are fans of Elle. 
And I think her journey, she went through a lot of ups and downs. She had to mature a lot. And I think it was a perfect journey, a flawed journey, just like all of us have. None of us are perfect. And so I think we left Elle on a really great note. And I feel so lucky I got to play her for all those years. Did you get to take anything from your character Elle, you know, from set of Kissing Booth that you have at your house now? Um, I took a lot of clothes. I took <laughs> one of my favorite pair of shorts. The only shorts that I'm like, oh, these look so good on me, is a pair of shorts from Elle. And I actually tried to buy them again. And I went on the website, I can't remember what it's called. And I was like, they're not there anymore. So I've got these shorts that I'm forever going to just <laughs> cherish that okay. make myself look good. <laughs> I think I know which shorts you're talking about because they did make you look very good. Were they kind of roll, you could roll them, the, they had the roll up. They, the, they were a little like high waisted and whitewashed. They were just- Oh no, okay. I'm talking, well, you looked great in all shorts. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> now, Joey, last thing, but you know, Kissing Booth is such an iconic movie. Like I did say, is there one looking back at other iconic movie series? Is there one that you wish you were a part of? Ooh, that's a very good question. Um, I mean, doesn't everyone watch movies and just pretend that they're in them like all the time? I mean, I feel that way about Harry Potter, about the Hunger Games films. I feel that way about animated movies. I'm like, what if I was this person? So I do that with like all movies that I watch ever. I'm like, wow, can you imagine what it's like to be them? <laughs> Absolutely, as we are sitting at home imagining what it's like to be Elle. So there you go. Me too, I wish I was Elle sometime. I mean, she's got a cool life. <laughs> Last question for me before I let you go, but Joey, I did see that you celebrated Hanukkah, so happy belated Hanukkah, but how are you spending your holidays? So I'm going back to my home for Christmas in LA because I celebrate both, it's very fun. And oh, I show a lot of love to my family through cooking, so I plan on cooking my family a big thank Thanksgiving, oh boy, a big Christmas meal and sharing it with them and just, you know, creating some of my own real magic at home. Uh, well, you are gonna need to give me a cooking lesson because I swear to you this morning, I actually, actually burnt water with a whole lemon. I burnt water. Don't ask me how. And you microwaving some water with lemon for the morning. I, 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 listen, this was not always a graceful journey for me with cooking. It was this big struggle at first. So you'll get there. It's fun. Hey, fingers crossed. But Joey, thank you so much for all that you do. I'm such a big fan of you. You have fans all around the world. And what a great partnership with Coca-Cola and Children's Healthcare of Atlanta. Thank you so much, Sienna. So good to talk to you again. It is so good to talk to you. It's always such a pleasure. And have a safe, very safe holiday season, okay? You too. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.